Hey everybody, I haven't been on for a while because we did a little bit of traveling and I may share those photos with you. But also our weather's been kind of bad here and so I didn't wanna go traipsing around the backyard looking in my sheds for my St. Patrick's Day decor. But I did finally get out today and I found the last bin so I pulled it all out here to show you what I have. I don't really have that much for St. Patrick's Day but I do still like to decorate. So I'll go ahead and put this up and then I'll show you what it looks like. Like I said, I don't really have a lot of decor for St. Patrick's Day, so I only decorate my living room. So I'll go ahead and show you what I do have. And I apologize for the lighting. I've been waiting all day for the sun to come out and it's just not cooperating. So I'm just gonna give it a try and see how it comes out. So this little white tree, I picked up two of these at Hobby Lobby last Christmas at their after Christmas sale at 70% off. I think I paid $12 a piece for them. And then these little candles, I picked these up at Dollar Tree, the holder, the candle, and the marbles, and then the little green hold, candle holder all came from Dollar Tree. And this little bowl came from Home Goods. I saw it and I thought that the gold and white would look really pretty with some gold coins in it. So I picked that up. And then here are those other two candles from Dollar Tree. And then this rag garland I had made last year. I tried to make one for my stairway, but it turned out too short, so I just put it on my piano. And then here is the other tree from Hobby Lobby. And then over here on the fireplace, this garland came from Hobby Lobby one or two years ago at the 90% off sale. This angel, I bought a couple of these angels off of Amazon a few years ago. I really like them and I checked today and they're not available. This sign was from Hobby Lobby and these little leprechauns were from Hobby Lobby and the little houses were from Dollar Tree. And then this little leprechaun, I think was from Hobby Lobby or it was from Dollar Tree. And that little angel and these leprechauns and this sign all came from Hobby Lobby. And this angel was the second angel that I got off of Amazon. This vase came from Joann's and the flowers came from Dollar Tree and the pick was from Hobby Lobby. This little leprechaun is one of my favorites and I cannot remember where I got him. I've had him for many, many years. And this welcome sign came from Michael's and this little sign was from Hobby Lobby. And then here's another one of those vases from Joann's. And over here, this little pair of shoes came from Joann's, I believe. These little flower things came from Dollar Tree. The sign is from Hobby Lobby. And this watering can is from Target. Okay, and then over here, this little sign was from Michael's. This little vase was from Joann's, I believe. Yeah, and then this little sign was from Hobby Lobby. And this, I just printed this off the internet last year and put it in a gold frame from Dollar Tree. And then we have Hobby Lobby, Joann's. And then this sign, where was this from? Oh, this was also from Joann's. And then here is one of the rag garlands that I made. Um, I had made another one, but it was too short, and so then I made this one, and I'll show you how it looks in a minute. And I decided to do a St. Patrick's Day tree this year, so I picked up this silver or white tree from at home after Christmas. It was 90% off. I don't remember what I paid for it, but it was really cheap, which is good because when I opened it, the base was not there. I don't know what happened to it, but it didn't have a base, so Mike made one for me. So these ornaments, I got this from Big Lots at their 75% off. It was four for $1.25. And then these came eight or 10 in a pack at Michael's the year you know after um, 
St. Patrick's Day a couple years ago, and it was, I think, 50 cents for the pack, and they had eight or 10 in a pack. These little rainbows came from Big Lots, and there was seven in a pack for $1.25. And then these, this type of sign came from Hobby Lobby last year. They were about a dollar. And these, I got several, got a pack of these from Target after Christmas. There were several colors in it, uh, green, gold, gray, some bronzy looking colors. And that was 50 ornaments for about $3. So that was a pretty good deal. So that's what my tree looks like. Oh, and these little bitty ones. These little bitty ones came from Dollar Tree. There were about 10 or 12 in a pack at Dollar Tree. And I never pay full price for anything, but I had seen these little leprechauns at, I think, Home Goods last year. And when I went to buy them, they were all out. So when I saw them again this year, I went ahead and picked them up and paid full price for them because I liked them so much. I wanted to make sure I got them. And then I had made a couple of these plates with Irish poems on them. And I think plates are passe now, so maybe I'll remake them on maybe a wooden round or something, but I like the poems, so I'll keep them for now. And these I did on my Cricut. I just wanted to try my hand at making those. So I did those last year or the year before on my Cricut, just with some cardstock and then some label paper. I printed it and then cut it out on the Cricut. And then these pillow covers came from Amazon a couple of years ago. And then this is the other wreath that I made for St. Patrick's Day. I decided to use it as a candle ring with this big candle holder that I got at Joann's. I think I paid about $10 for that, which is kind of more than I like to spend, but I thought it was really pretty. And then over here, I have another one of those Leprechauns, this is the girl, and then another one of those Irish poems that I made with my Cricut. And then these last three Leprechauns came from Hobby Lobby. So I'll show you how this looks when I have the lights on in the evening when it's dark out. I hope you enjoyed my St. Patrick's Day decorations and until next time, bye for now.